once more. I'm standing here with Grubby as so many times before. Do you, do you actually keep count on how many CBT you visited by now? Uh, I don't know, but I think I've been coming since 2004. That's a very long time. Is it still exciting for you as there are so many events out there and you've visited many of them several times? Do you still get excited about them? Yeah, I mean, I get excited about not so much the releases or the what CBIT is really about, but about my tournaments, yes. You feeling confident going up against all those players and it is uh, not uh, Wings of Liberty anymore, but uh, Heart of the Swarm? Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident in my preparations. Uh, I think I have very strong opponents, so it's difficult to say that I will definitely succeed. I mean, I have MVP Stefano. Uh, they're very strong, and then the rest of the players are also very strong. Uh, I am confident in my own play, but I specifically, intentionally haven't given much thought to to them and whether you know how I will do against them and so on. Uh, I haven't seen any games from most of the players who are in my group in Heart of the Swarm. So the planning part has been very self-centered, uh, not so much about them. So if I can play my own game and I can play well, then I think it shall go quite okay. All right, so if we look at like the whole list of the players, uh, do you think the favorite is different as, it, as they are playing HOTS now, uh, rather than if they would play uh, Wings of Liberty? Like, Who would you pack as a favorite for like, Wings of Liberty and who would you say would win the HOTS tournament? You know, it, it's so hard to say. I, like Yongwa, he's, he's barely changed his style from Wings of Liberty, but just the raw skill and strategy and timings and everything, it was still so good that he 5 out his group. So I think like the very best players, they will continue to do well. But if they didn't practice Heart of the Swarm enough, that could be an Achilles heel, that could be their weakness. Uh, but it's not like it's a completely different game. You can still play roughly the same thing as before, or you can change it up a lot. It's, it's pretty personal. And I think, if anything, Heart of the Swarm offers a lot more options to everyone. But it doesn't mean the old, old options are, are necessarily bad. There's just a little bit of a different route in getting there. And more options, I think, is always very good. Uh, and I really like that part. Uh, how much have you followed so far? I mean, obviously you haven't seen uh, the guys of your group playing, but there has been a lot of games already played. Uh, was there anything which struck you as weird? Have there been like weird strategies you've never seen before, as there haven't been that many HOTS tournaments out there yet? Yeah, I mean, this is the first big HOTS tournament, right? It's on, on LAN. Um, for the first time, all of us are playing without lag, because uh, there was quite a lot of lag. We're all playing on the NA server, on the beta. Uh, great thing already that we could practice on there, but yeah, suddenly the ping is gone here, so it feels different and, and weird. Uh, in terms of strategies, most of the players have played roughly what I would expect, but I'm seeing a lot more Void Ray usage than I expected. Uh, I know it's a good unit, but like people are really making a lot of them. In terms of really being surprised, Socket surprised me with the, the way he's playing, like very off kelter different timings, kind of unknown, and. He surprised his first two Zerg opponents with that quite well. How is that for you? If you watch those games, do you take into account what they just did and consider that whilst you're playing against them? Or like taking it into consideration for your upcoming matches? Or you just uh, stay with whatever you had in mind before and go that route? That's, that's a good question. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think beginning players often come to a tournament and they come there and they say, oh, this is the latest trend, this is the meta game, I should completely try to incorporate this quickly because what I've been doing clearly can't be as good because this really good player is playing such and so. Uh, I already got an idea two days ago when I was talking to some of the other protesters that I had a very different view about how the matchups are being played and I don't think it's necessarily worse. Uh, of course we'll see still but I think I have a very different idea of some of the matchups and I'm gonna definitely play what I practice myself. I'm not gonna make that mistake of uh, Switching, uh, switching it up to something that I haven't practiced a lot. I had a real big blast. Uh, so much fun at uh, the IEMs this season. Uh, I am Singapore, Poland, and so on. Great experiences, and uh, it was made possible thanks to my sponsor, BenQ. So uh, big love to BenQ. Thanks for uh, all the fun memories at IEM. Thanks to all the fans who voted on uh, me. In IEM Singapore, I won Signerd Baller. Uh, I saw the hoodie that was created. Uh, it's being uh, given to me at this event. Uh, really cool. 
and I once again got reminded that it's because my fans voted for me I got that and I got some sick Intel hardware at home I want a BenQ monitor so uh, thanks to, to everyone who voted for me and thanks also to all my other fans you guys are awesome uh, I'm gonna do my best here to impress you guys here at this event thank you very much for taking the time of course good luck in the tournament and thank you guys for watching